to my channel and for those of you who are new welcome it's good to see you here my name is ego i'm a lifestyle blogger law student and youtuber and so before we get into today's video i just want to say make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video okay so for today's video as you can tell by the title we're going to be talking about business wear for less so prior to deciding to record this video i did a poll on instagram just to see you know how many people are really interested in the subject and who wanted to see a video on this subject and i actually had a lot of great feedback saying yes please record this video so here we are today talking about business wear okay so for this video i'm basically going to kind of talk about where i like to buy my clothes my budget and how i stay within that budget and my budget for business clothes is typically under 60 dollars per item and today i'm actually going to show you a couple pieces i've purchased recently and some of it aren't recently purchased but whatever <laughs> So, and actually everything in this video is going to be within my budget, under $60, so yeah, let's get into these items. Okay, so the first item I have to show to you guys is my tote bag that I use typically for interviews, networking events, or even just events where I'm required to wear business or business casual. And so here's the bag, this is the front, this is the back. Um, I really love this zipper detail. These zippers actually do zip down, as you can see. So it's a super cute bag, super trendy, but also definitely super business. And the bag actually comes with this little clutch, which I love because I can just detach it and use it, or I can put things in here that I don't really want necessarily like jumbling around in my bag, such as tampons, pens, and whatever makeup I need to carry. So this bag I actually got on sale from Nordstrom. I believe it was um, originally maybe like $80, $90, but I actually got this bag for $44, which I think is a steal because it's such a classic looking bag. As you can see, it can be dressed up and dressed down. You can use it to run errands or even all the way up to business events. So this is what I love about this bag. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is something I recently purchased and it's these shoes right here. They are so cute. And this is the heel. And I'm gonna show you the front one more time. And so yeah, I recently just bought these shoes as my everyday business wear shoes for interviews, like I said before, networking events or whatever else would require me to dress in a business or business casual wear. And these shoes are Nine West, as you can see. And I got them for, sorry, I have to check my notes. I got them for $59.25, so they're 75 cents off of my cutoff for my budget. And I'm gonna show you them one more time. They have a nice heel to them. They're sleek and timeless to me. You can never go wrong with a black pump with a pointy toe. And I love these. Um, they definitely would make for a good polished look and you can wear them with stockings. Uh, as you guys may know, in the legal profession, usually when you go on interviews, you have to wear stockings. And I recently just wore these to an interview and they looked great with stockings. And I actually got these from Macy's and Macy's is one of my favorite places to buy shoes, especially business shoes, because they always have a sale. Like, <laughs> when can you ever think of a time you went to Macy's and it wasn't a take 15% off this or take an extra 20% off this? So Macy's is definitely my first go-to line of attack place to check when I'm shopping for shoes. Even in general, like I always check Macy's first. Okay, so the next couple things I have to show you are clothing items. And the first thing I have is this blazer from Bar 3. And I actually just recently wore it to an interview, so it has my JD pin on it. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And this is what I got pinned with when I first started law school. But this is a really cute kind of longer blazer and it's a pinstripe and I love it. It's super comfortable, has a nice good stretch to it. And the color is timeless. I'm gonna show you guys the back. So this is the blazer. And um, I actually got this from Macy's and I don't really remember the price, but I know for a fact it was in the 40 range. Gloves, like I said, I've worn it, so it doesn't really have a tag, but this is definitely a good blazer to have in your collection. It's a nice classic pinstripe, it's comfortable, it has a good stretch to it, 
and it goes with just about everything. The next item I have to show you is a blazer again. This one actually is pinstripe too. It's just a little bit of a shorter length blazer and this one buttons unlike the previous one. This is actually a Calvin Klein blazer, which I got for $41. Um, and I got this from Macy's and this is just a super cute kind of like shorter, more classic looking blazer. And like I said, like the other one, it goes with just about everything and I love it. It's and it has a nice stretch fit to it and the pinstripe is such a timeless pattern and the length is a good length and yeah okay so the next item i have to show is a basic black business dress and i got it from h&m and the price was $34.99 as you can see $34.99 and um, I can't really show you the whole dress at once, so I'm just kind of just gonna glide it up and down. So we're gonna start with the neckline. As you can see, it has such a timeless, cute neckline with a little plaiting, pleating, I don't know, <laughs> detailing. And then this is the rest of the dress. Woo, yeah, I'm gonna glide that up. Glide it down, glide it up, glide it down. So I hope you guys got the point of the dress. Um, so I believe a black dress is super timeless and a great staple that everyone should have in their business wear. So I was happy to find um, a black dress that was long enough because I am a bit on the taller side. I'm 5'10 and this actually goes below my knees and it's really cute, simple. I could pair it with one of the two blazers I just showed you guys and my shoes and I'm good to go. Okay, so this is the last and final item I'm going to show you and it's just this simple blouse with this cute tie neck and I'm absolutely gushing over the neck on this blouse that I actually got a dress in the same color um, it, with a neck like this. I'm not going to show you it in this video because I feel like you guys have gotten the point, but this blouse I got from H&M and it was $34.99 as you can see, $34.99. And I absolutely love this top and I cannot wait to wear it. I think this neckline is so cute. Pair it up with a blazer and a cute pencil skirt and you're on your way out the door. Um, yeah, so I really been wanting a blouse with this tie neck and I'm so happy I finally found it. So I knew when I saw this, I had to have it. Okay, now that I'm done showing you guys all the items, I kind of want to sit down for a little bit real quick just to show you guys or rather talk to you guys about how I chose these stores, why I chose these stores, and really like how I managed to stay within that $60 or less budget. And so as you can see, my two main stores to pull from is H&M and Macy's. Um, Nordstrom, I, although I did show you an item from there, I feel like that was more so by chance and it's not really like a reliable store for my budget. Um, their sales stuff is very hit or miss and their full price stuff, yeah, that'll run you a bag. <laughs> But with H&M, their full price stuff is super affordable. As you can see, the blouse was $34, the dress was $34. And with Macy's, Last Act, when I tell you I swear by Last Act, you will get super affordable stuff from there. And they're pretty good quality and brands that are pretty reputable. So for example, that Calvin Klein um, blazer I showed you guys, it was $41 and I got it from Last Act. That bar three blazer. Um, I'm not sure if that was last act, but it was definitely on sale. And for $41, as you can know, blazers are usually like upwards to 80 or 90. And those are some really quality blazers that I managed to get for under $50. And I actually, I didn't really show you guys it into this in this video, but I also bought a dress from Macy's. It was originally $80, and I paid maybe like $26, $28. So Last Act is definitely the first line of attack for when I'm shopping for business wear because you will always find something. It's just a matter of do you want to spend money or not. And like I was saying earlier with shoes, Macy's always has a sale. So even if the shoe, shoe is full price, you're bound to find the sale. Like going to Macy's and there's no sale, that just sounds like a lie. And yeah, and why pick the budget of $60? Um, business wear is about a lot of separates, so I kind of wanted to stick to a reasonable and practical budget, which, I mean, $60 is pretty practical on going up 60 or below. Obviously, like something like 30 is not really practical just for the nature of what I'm trying to buy. 
And I also chose that budget because like I was saying, business clothes is a lot of separates. So if my budget was higher, it kind of like start to definitely add up as I'm buying separate pieces. And so I figured $60 is a perfect reasonable number and definitely achievable and obtainable to go below. And if you aren't already, subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that bell notification so you never miss a video I have. And I can't wait to see you guys all in the next video. And yeah, take care. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and follow me on all my social media. And I can't wait to see you for the next video. Oh, <laughs>